I'd like to show you how to resin infuse the tail to an F104. I have the uh, pattern for the fabric cut out. It's going to have one layer of three quarter ounce glass and then one layer of carbon. Uh, the outside doesn't have to be perfect, so you just trim around it. I love these um, pizza wheel cutters because they're quick and a piece of MDF. And then you cut the uh, Cut the inside out with a sharp razor. There's one. Alright, so there's your two pieces of fiberglass cloth. That'll be the outside finish. Just set those aside. Gotta watch out, this stuff stretches real easy. some carbon fiber cloth that'll provide the strength for the tail. I always save these little carbon scraps because you can use them as reinforcements for other stuff. There's one. Trying to minimize the scraps on the carbon because the stuff's so expensive. Don't want to waste any. There's your other piece. Now you want to mist them with 3M spray adhesive and that will allow them to stick in the mold. Just have regular 3M spray adhesive from Home Depot. Lay your piece of cloth down and go about three feet away and just give it a very light mist. And that's all you need. And then here's my mold that 
It has the mold release and a layer of primer on it. You just tack it down. It's just sticky enough to where it'll hold in place, but that's about it. Nice part is if you put a really thin layer of 3M adhesive and you screw up, you can still pull it up and fix it without pulling up the primer. Then you just push it out, smooth out any wrinkles, because this is going to be your final surface finish. Try and push the cloth into all the little nooks and crannies and then flatten it out over the edge when you're done. Alright, now you have one layer of three quarter ounce cloth, which is your finished coat, tacked down. Now do the same with one piece of carbon. Tack this one down as tight as you can get it. And there you have it. One mold with the cloth laid up, ready to be resin infused, which we'll do next.